Some, some estimates have been as low as two million, uh, but what that makeup looks like, uh, both uh, demographically and geographically. So uh, all of these issues are important. So we're not, we're not, I mean, we're not backing away from a, a number that we didn't put out originally. I think that others uh, noted that seven million is a fine target, but it, that that will not determine uh, whether the marketplaces function effectively. Uh, I mean, but the Kevin issue Smith is said mm -hmm. on September 30th, this is a direct quote, I think success looks like at least 7 million people mm -hmm. having signed up by the end of March 2014. Look, I think it sounds like she's embracing that, not, not just conceptually, but she says that's what success looks like. Well, I think success like. looks like having many millions of people sign up. What is important, because I think the conflation here is, uh, you know, a, 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 an estimate, one of which by CBO is 7 million, of a total number of enrollees and what that means. Uh, obviously, the more enrollees uh, there are, the you know that's a measure of success. But in terms of how effective the marketplaces function, the makeup, the mix of the population that enrolls uh, is more important than the than the total number. Uh, and that's why so many efforts are underway to reach different populations with the message of. Uh, the options available to people for quality, affordable health insurance. So that's a redefinition of success, the mix as no, opposed major, to I think, I think, again, uh, as I've just said, uh, neither the Secretary of Health and Human Services or, or anyone else involved in this effort or any expert in the field would argue.